We use the present perfect to talk about actions that began in the past but are not finished, repeated actions, and actions where the time something occurred is not the most important thing. We'll use examples from The Princess Bride, Lord of the Rings, The Vampire Diaries, Game of Thrones, The Matrix, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. The present perfect uses subject plus to have plus the past participle. I have fought. In the negative, we add not, so subject plus to have plus not plus past participle. I haven't fought. The structure changes slightly when we ask questions. To have plus the subject plus past participle. Have I fought? And we can ask negative questions too. To have plus not plus subject plus past participle. Haven't I fought? We use the present perfect to talk about actions or situations that started in the past and continue in the present. I haven't fought just one person for so long. I haven't fought just one person in a long time. Here we have the subject, I, plus to have, plus not, plus past participle of fight, which is fought. We also use the present perfect to talk about actions when the time is not important. You have fought many wars and slain many men, Theoden King. And may you have fought many wars and slain many men. Subject here is you, plus have, plus past participle. Here's a similar example as a question. How many wars have you fought in Sabaristan? How many wars have you fought in Sabaristan? The present perfect here shows that it's the wars that are important, not when they occurred. The question form begins with to have, plus subject, you, plus past participle. We use the present perfect to talk about actions performed during a period that has not yet finished. I remember that for 100 years we have fought these machines. For 100 years we have fought these machines. Subject, we, plus to have, plus past participle. One important thing to note is that the time specification for 100 years can begin the sentence as it does here or could end it. For example, we have fought these machines for a hundred years. This example is perhaps a little unusual overall. Using the same form, we could also say, This week I have eaten pizza three times. We use the present perfect to talk about repeated actions in an unspecified period between the past and now. Haven't you always wondered? Haven't you always wondered? Here it's a question, so we begin with to have, plus not, because it's a negative question, plus the subject, you, plus the past participle of wonder, which is wondered. Finally, we use the present perfect to describe actions completed in the very recent past, expressed by just. I just fought Sybil. I won. I have just fought Sybil. Subject is I, plus to have, plus just, plus past participle. You may have noticed that in this example Ian drops have. We can do that only when we're using just with the present perfect, because the have is implied. It's more usual in spoken English than written. Uh, it's quite normal to break this law, and it will make your speech sound more natural in an informal context. If that has clarified the present perfect for you, please like and subscribe. I fought the law.